This is a product video for Avi Denison's SPF XI paint protection film, and here are the details. Product number SPF XI, film type polyurethane, liner PET, roll width 60 inches, roll length 16.4 yards, thickness 6.4 mil, adhesive acrylic permanent, top coat self-healing. On the outside of the box, there is important product information that includes roll length and lot number. There is a detachable sticker with the lot number on it that can easily be placed on the work order sheet. For installing SPF XI, two solutions need to be used. One is a slip solution. This can be made up of baby shampoo or specialized PPF slip products. It is very important to get the right percentages. Take 1.5 liters of water in a clean pressurized sprayer, then with a clear syringe, pull in two millimeters of baby shampoo. Too little or too much can negatively compromise the install. Release into the spray bottle and shake for even distribution. In the other spray bottle will be a tack solution, and again, getting the right percentage is very important. For the tack solution, take three parts water and add one part 70% isopropyl alcohol. Like the slip solution, adding too little or too much can cause install issues. A good tip to create consistent solutions is to use distilled water, as tap water can vary in makeup from region to region, which can affect the balance of the slip and tack solutions. And here are the recommended tools for install of SPF XI. High quality extra sharp scissors are essential for trimming and a safe box for use blades. The best blade for cutting PPF is a 58 degree carbon blade and wide mouth in case cutters. A clay bar or clay bar glove and high quality microfiber towels are essential for surface prep and magnets for pre-install trimming. There are a wide variety of recommended PPF squeegees which have different benefits during an install from hardness to width. The key is using one with a nick-free edge in order to get optimal results. The first step in cleaning a vehicle for a SPF XI install is using a rinseless car wash, as this will leave no residue behind. Be extra thorough when cleaning, and focus on all areas around the install section, like windows, lights, and wheels. The rinseless wash can also be used for the clay bar process, which comes next. It is critical to use a clay bar or clay bar glove in order to create an optimally smooth surface. For hoods, doors, and trunks, be sure to open these areas to clean under the edges. For all other areas, use a squeegee in a microfiber towel in order to reach tight gaps and edges. This is critical for long-term hold. A good tip is to prep the vehicle in one section of the workspace, then move it to another area for install. For sections like the hood or trunk, propping them open can help with the install. Cutting down a core tube from the SPF XI roll in manageable sizes is a good solution. The last cleaning step is to degrease the surface. Be extra thorough and put extra focus on the edges. The final step before install is to do a pre-inspection. In order to be covered under Avery Dennison's warranty, filling out a pre-inspection sheet, documenting damage with photos, and confirming that the paint is OEM is critical. The primary way to currently install Avery Dennison SPF XI paint protection film is by the bulk method. This involves measuring and cutting the PPF into manageable sections. SPF XI is not directional, which allows for nesting pieces close together in order to minimize waste. It is important to note that the PPF comes with a clear protective layer that needs to be removed before install. This protective layer helps maintain the high gloss face of the film and avoid scratches from shipping and production. This protective sheet can be recycled, so be sure to place it in the appropriate container to help minimize waste. For install, first spray the entire surface with the glide solution. Using a pressurized sprayer helps speed up this process. Be extra thorough and get full coverage. Next, spray the peel board with the glide solution and, using two installers for large panels, place the SPF XI liner side out onto it. The glide solution will hold the panel in place. Peel the liner and immediately spray the exposed adhesive side with the glide solution during this entire process. Wetting the adhesive right away will keep it from sticking to itself if the panel folds together. With the panel ready for install, a good tip is to double check the coverage of the install section with the glide solution. Then, making sure the hands are wet to avoid fingerprints, pick up the panel and place it on the install area. Teamwork is critical during this process in order to avoid any contamination. Spray the surface of the PPF film with a glide solution in order to allow the squeegee to slide across the surface. Then, pull the film to the corners and tack in place, either directly to the install area or off the area like on the front of this bumper. When squeegeeing the film, be sure to use overlapping squeegee strokes and work at a steady pace, from side to side. To avoid bubbles or missed spots, it's recommended to overlap half the width of the squeegee, as well as to hold the squeegee at a high angle. This helps force the moisture out from underneath the film. 
For certain areas, like moderate recessed areas, it's recommended to use two hands, as this will help achieve the right amount of pressure. For deep recessed areas, or large compound curves where it seems like the material was stretched and lifting even after squeegeeing, the SPF XI can be easily picked back up and then tack solution sprayed under the film. Spread the solution evenly with a hand running over the top of the film, then squeegee. The tack solution helps make the adhesive stronger on these areas and they can be formed in with confidence. With the film at the edge of the install area, it's recommended to flush the glide solution out with the tack solution in order to set the film firmly in place. This is critical for long-term hold and to prevent fingers or lifting before cutting. On certain sections, it's recommended to wrap the film around the edge, particularly on hoods or areas with high grab points like doors. To safely trim these areas, it's best to use scissors over a knife in order to avoid accidents. Due to the standard thickness of PPF film, it's best to trim the corners back using the butterfly cut method. This involves cutting the corners off at a 45 degree angle on either side. Using tweezers to hold the film for proper tension can help since the film can be wet and hard to grab. This method should also be used on body lines in order to avoid wrinkles when wrapping the SPF XI around the edge. When forming the film around the edge, one method is to let it air dry for 10 to 20 minutes in order to ensure that it holds the underside. A quicker method is to use a steamer right after the excess film has been cut away. The steam flushes out the glide solution as well as gently warms the film. Then, using a microfiber towel, the film can be wrapped around the edge and the excess moisture captured by the towel. This method achieves an efficient, tight seal on the surface. Another way to remove the excess film is to cut it back from the edge roughly one eighth of an inch. This means cutting directly on the surface, which only professional installers should attempt. The key for this method is to click the blade before cutting to ensure that it's sharp and, using a light touch, keeping the blade at a 10 degree angle from the surface. The goal is to cut about two thirds of the way into the film. This will make a squeaky noise. If there is no noise, then the cut is too deep or too shallow. The same method can be used to trim back the sections that were wrapped around the edge. This can be done in order to ensure that the wrap film fits a body line and doesn't bridge the gap, which can cause durability issues. On smaller sections with curves, like mirrors and headlights, it's recommended to use only the tack solution. This will help the SPF XI hold the edge quicker and prevent lifting, which can lead to silvering or bubbles. The film is very pliable and easy to stretch into position. Once in position, it's recommended to steam the face in order to help activate the adhesive, then dry it thoroughly with a microfiber towel. Once dry, in order to ensure straight cuts, especially on these curved areas, it's best to place masking tape along the cutting line, being sure to create a negative gap of 1 8 of an inch. SPF XI can be used as a partial or full coverage solution to protect the paint of the vehicle. The key with all PPF installs is to have steady workflow and to work in sections in order to ensure that no moisture is left under the film and all edges are sealed. In order to avoid contamination when installing bumpers or rocker panels, it's recommended to drive the car onto ramps or place on hydraulic lift. For edges that have lifted, either spray more tack solution under the film or use a steamer to warm and soften the film, then reapply. When a panel has been completed, a good tip is to go over any exposed areas with a steamer. This will help seal the edge and prevent moisture or dirt from getting under the edge prematurely. Another way to do this is use a heat gun on a medium setting and push any remaining moisture out with a squeegee and a buffer. The buffer will absorb any tiny bits of moisture left and here are the tech details. A very strong initial adhesion occurs after 20 minutes with ultimate adhesion taking place after 72 hours. The vertical warranty is 10 years, horizontal 7 years, both for zone 1. In order to ensure a professional product with long-term durability, it's important to finish off a SPF XI installation properly. This can mean letting the install sit for a few hours, then coming back to wipe it down. Be sure that all edges are sealed and that there are no bubbles. Also, wipe down the face of the install in order to remove any residue left behind by the glide solution. Avoid using harsh cleaners that have solvents. If the outside air temperature will be above 50 degrees Fahrenheit, then the finished install can be returned to the customer that day. If it will be below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, then it's recommended to leave the install inside overnight in order to allow the adhesive to build up properly. For more information and where to buy Avery Dennison SPF XI paint protection film, you can go to this URL or to these social media pages. This has been a product video for Avery Dennison's SPF XI paint protection film. Proudly produced by the Rep Institute.